You may have heard about people taking injections or drugs like Ozempic and Monjaro to lose weight, even though those drugs are meant to treat diabetes. Well, a new study out today shows that, that those drugs may go even further than that in improving someone's health. Patients reported they drank less alcohol or quit smoking while taking the drug. Others say it cured things like obsessive shopping and nail biting and other bad habits. This is all from a study published by the American Medical Association. Joining us now to help us sort through all this is Dr. Archana Sadhu. She's the director of System Diabetes Program at Houston Methodist Hospital. Okay, one headline out today said, did scientists accidentally inve inve invent an anti-addiction drug? Is it possible they did? Well, it's really uncertain right now. Um, I can say that there's some early animal studies in uh, rats, mice, and even monkeys that suggest that these drugs do have effects in the parts of the brain that control reward. And so with that, we can kind of uh, propose a mechanism, but it really hasn't been studied or proven well in humans. And in fact, there's two clinical trials ongoing right now to study them for alcohol and nicotine use. So we will find out more. One patient who took Ozempic for a weight loss said it was like a switch had flipped in her brain, like all sorts of addictive tendencies vanished. What's going on, do you think? How, do, how is this working? Well, we know that these drugs stimulate a receptor called the GLP-1 receptor. And these receptors do um, are in the brain, in the reward center, in the hippocampus. And so by stimulating them, they may actually reduce the reward gleaned from these kind of addictive behaviors. So that is one mechanism which might be uh, studied further to prove that this is the connection between the two. But remember, addictive behaviors have multiple reasons, and it's a very complex uh, condition. So it's not going to be a one answer as simple as taking this injection. It, it, it is a complex thing. However, in the field of addiction medicine, this could be seen as something of a holy grail. There is currently no medications that really can help people with alcoholism, for example. Millions and millions of people in this country suffer from substance use disorder. Millions die every year from drug overdoses or alcohol-related deaths. Um, this could really be a game changer if this works. Absolutely. And certainly we're always seeking um, effective treatments for patients suffering from those conditions and the harm from those conditions. So we can really be hopeful that there may be something here that we can pursue. But I would like to caution your viewers um, that uh, there are some tried and proven uh, treatments for these addictions and to really talk to your healthcare professional or doctor and see what is uh, right for you. These are all anecdotes, as hopeful as they are. Uh, they are not proven to be true as yet. Right. And we will learn more as we study the drugs. And these drugs don't come without some, yeah, you know, they have unpleasant side effects. So it's a serious drug. Don't just go out and start taking it because you're struggling Absolutely. with some sort of substance use disorder. Dr. Arjuna Zadu, thanks so much for being here. It's really promising. Hopefully we'll have you back when we have more information. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.